solve this 3 by 3 system algebraically. So what we have here is 2x minus y plus z is negative 5. x minus 2y plus 2z is negative 13. 3x plus y minus 2z is 12. And what we have to do is elimination method. So what that is is where you try to get one of the variables to cancel. If we put these two equations together, we can get the the x's to cancel out. How we do that is by taking the second equation and multiplying it by negative 2. So keep the first equation. Don't do anything to it. Be careful with the copy down part here. Take the second equation and multiply it by negative 2. So doing that gives us <clears throat> negative 2x, positive 4y, negative 4z, positive 26. Okay, just double and chain sign. Double and chain sign to get a 2x. Double and chain sign to get a 2y, a 4y, positive. Double and chain sign to get a negative 4z. Double and chain sign to get a positive 26. Okay, great. Add these together and the x's are gone. We'd have 3y, because negative y plus 4. We'd have negative 3z, because 1 minus 4. On the other side, we'd have 21. So that's an equation that should be true about y and z. Actually, you know what? I see threes here. I'm just going to divide everything by 3. So it tells us that y minus z is 7. That's a good fact to keep it handy. Let's highlight it. The fact that y minus z is 7. Okay, great. We go back to the process and do it again. But instead of involving the first and second, we have to involve another pair of equations. So let's involve the second and third. So, still want to do elimination. We would take the second equation and also try to, I mean the second and third pairing, and also try to get rid of x. That would give us another equation in y and z. So how can we get rid of the x with the second and third? We'd have to multiply by a negative 3 on that second equation. So let me just jot that down, what I just said. We are about to take the second equation and multiply it by negative 3. Okay, great. Alright, so doing that gives negative 3x, positive 6y, negative 6z, positive 39. Then take the third equation, unaltered, and we want to add these guys together. It should give us a different equation in y and z. The x's are gone. Now you're going to have 7y minus 8z being equal to 51. Alright, great. So now we have what we need. Two equations in y and z. Now we pair those two up and solve those guys. On the one hand, we have that y minus z is 7. On the other hand, we have 7y minus 8z is 51. So then we need to get the, maybe the, the y's to cancel. Let's take this first equation times negative 7. You'll have negative 7y positive 7z and negative 49 on the right hand side. The second equation, unaltered, is 8, 7y minus 8z is 51. 
And so then we add these guys to get exactly what z is. The y's are gone now. We get the fact that negative z is positive 2. Negative 1 times z, so divide by negative 1. And it turns out then that z is negative 2 after all that work. Good job. You take this back into either of these two equations that you've had found. Let's go with y minus z is 7. It seems easiest. Plug a negative 2 into that. Be careful though. The z is negative 2, so you're minusing a negative 2. So what you get is y plus 2 is 7 or that y subtracting 2 over is 5. Great. So we have our, uh, our y, we have our z. Well, let's go get the x. Go back into either of the original equations and solve for x. Uh, let's take the first, uh, first one. 2x minus y plus z is negative 5. 2x minus y plus z is negative 5. Let me double check what I have there. 2x minus y plus z is negative 5. Okay, looks good. I'm going to plug in the fact that z is negative 2 and the fact that y is positive 5. We'll get 2x minus 5 plus a negative 2 should be a negative 5. A negative 5 and a negative 2 is a negative 7. Leaving everything else alone, if we add that 7 over, we get a positive 2. And that's what 2x should equal, so divide by 2. And we have it. x should be equal to 1. We just solved three equations and three unknowns all at the same time. Good job. So let me zoom out so we can see it all together. The process was eliminate the one of the variables, then pair up another two equations and elim eliminate that same variable. Then you're down to two equations and two unknowns. Solve that, and then take that back into one of the original equations and find your missing third guy.